hideous. See, I got to get it every time. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, the, then there was some discussion of Striper because the, we had a couple listeners. I think Chet, yes. one of our favorites. Yes. He likes some Striper. Who wouldn't? Well, there are some people I will trust. Well, well, this is hilarious. I'm glad you brought that up. I'll tell you who wouldn't. Christians. <laughs> That's their problem. So I get in. Uh, this is why you turn on the mic and record this because this wasn't planned. Okay. I'm sitting in my office yesterday and uh, a name, a person shall not be named. Remains nameless. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Shall not be named. Well, or that remain, was biblical. Or the that was biblical. Yeah, right remains there. nameless. The person shall, shall not, not be, be named. Shamed. In a world where three kids. <laughs> I, I really want to do that. You like that? Uh, I do. In a world where three kids are battling for their life. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty uh, good. So anyway. <laughs> a little Mexican, though. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, well. So I get this text, and it just says, um, a certain preacher in the area was mad that other churches did a honking service because they thought honking diminished the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, so I texted back, back Christians, dot, dot, dot. I, yeah. That's all I got to say is like, you can't please. I mean, I don't even understand that. Because like, I, I think it's great. Dude, if you want to do a drive-in and honk for Jesus, dude, blow, the, blow your little tutor. Well, because... I, I'm, I'm no expert. I mean, what difference does I mean? But were horns even invented back then, like oh, now in the gospel? They, so what's the no, problem? Scott? Oh. Well, they had the shofar <laughs> horn, but we won't oh, go there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what you need to say. Yeah. The only horn we'll be blowing is, is the, the oh shofar. shofar. <laughs> Put that in your car. Put yeah. a bumper sticker on that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. They it's not. Them. What's it called? A chauffeur? Shofar. It's S H O F A R R or something like I that. I like the first. fact we have a biblical scholar going to yeah, break it on one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you remember when Jerry Abel's tried yeah. to blow one on stage? Man, it's funny. And he's a and he's a pretty good trumpet player. He is one better than yeah. I was. But he can't. But he couldn't blow that show. Mm -hmm. Show not well. It's no, not it's, easy. It takes a, a certain set of skills. I could do it. It sounded better than that. <laughs> not quite so pitchy. It was more. That's a little pitchy. It dog. was more like. Boop, 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 boop. That's a little pitchy mm. dog. Yeah. Isn't that funny, though? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, he was just, and I told him, I mean, because they were just, they were frustrated, I think, because, you know, and I'm like, look, dude, you can't please. Mm -mm. It, it don't matter. I mean, people are just trying. Well, we're trying to figure out how to do stuff when it's yeah. unprecedented. Well, y'all know I'm a big Striper fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When the staff devotion, no, no, no. When the staff no. songs were selected. Yeah, we went through this already, old man. Oh, did we? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's how we got on Striper. I didn't first. Even know about that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've got. No, we were talking I've about horns. <laughs> You've been going. That's how we got it. Good Lord, help us today. I don't remember. Wow. That. Maybe you. That, that's how we got into Striper the first time. Don't even. Remember when Whitehead heard it, but don't get into that. I won't. So let's go back into Easter's. Yes, the, the Easter's. Easters. Yeah, well, because the different people did it different ways. All that right. is true. They did. And we pretty much did it the same way. And I think, well, we had KTBS, which was awesome. Yeah. yeah. They were yeah, but, kind, though, to be able to put that out. I mean, you think about them. To me, where I give KTBS a lot of credit. Right. They're trying to creatively fill some program because there ain't nothing else on. Right. And they offered up to all churches. Yeah. And to me, I thought that's what's cool. It was cool. People are trying, man. They're throwing it out there. What about a double whammy day, though? So you got the COVID-19 already and then the weather. Yeah, I mean, I think it loses its mind on Easter Sunday. Maybe Jesus was like, Shreveport Bozier, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Show you our, shelter in place. Our, yeah. uh, bunny hop, car hop, whatever it ended up being. Yeah, called, that didn't, yeah, that didn't it, go well. It got like squashed. Yeah. Well, but you got to try. You do. You got I mean, try. you had a bunch of people call in. The good you thing did. is, is you could call in from your car or your house and still listen. Which we didn't even know this. How funny is that? We didn't even promote that you could listen to the radio through the internet. No. <laughs> we were like, get in your car. It, it did get promoted, though. Well, eventually. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, message. That's I'm how I listened to it. Yeah, but I'm saying, because we were staying home. Right. So then it's like, you don't yeah. have a, who has a radio at home? That'd be nobody. Ham radio operators do. Yeah. No. Like that. All <laughs> four of them. I appreciate them listening. Hey, but. <laughs> oh. What I'm saying is, is that at least they. They had something to do and participate, yes. and, you know. But it's crazy, man. Yeah. What What I liked 
because I was on the radio that morning, which Thank I didn't you, know Scott. I was going to be. Yeah, yeah let's let's talk about that for a minute here because we we can't just <laughs> no we glaze had a, over how he got there. We had a plan. The plan was simple. It yes. was all right. The they simple, always start we, off that way. So that's why some people are, why'd you do it at eleven o'clock? Because we had a Easter egg hunt plan. We did. So it was going to start at nine fifteen and go to about ten forty five. He's a little aggravated about them asking about the time. Well, change. we heard it yesterday <laughs> on the stab meet. If we know what time we're, it's been the same. We're, we've never been under COVID nineteen. Uh, no. So no. we've never had to go to just broadcast it's or a, just streaming. So we we started with a ten o'clock service. Right. The next week, they were saying you might need to do two because right. some people wanted to go late, yeah. so we just added a late That one. was a bomb of an idea. And then everybody's <laughs> going, nobody really watches, so whoever's idea that was, probably not I worth it. I think I may have suggested yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. That My was, bad. <laughs> so then we just said, well, let's, then it turns to be Easter because there's only yeah. three weeks. So then it was like, okay, so now we've gone Easter. We're going back to 10 o'clock live service, yeah. 9.30 pre-service, 10.30, yeah. then a post thing afterwards. People seem to like that. They do. Because it's more inter- – I, I talked to Stillman Johnson this morning uh, from Johnson Furniture, and he was just like, dude, I love it, and I, I just want more Facebook Live. I want you walking your dogs more. Right. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm not going – That's that's, that's weird. That's the, biggest, that's the biggest response we get every time. Is I think you, it's because they want to see that you're doing what they're doing. That's not that shocking, though. You think about reality yeah. TV. Yeah, you're, you're like, what are y'all doing today? Well, we're walking our dogs. Mm-hmm. Right. People love it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because I'm not doing... just – I don't live on that stage. No, I'll start doing Facebook Live with the cats. Yeah, they might yeah. want it. But let's go back. <laughs> so anyway, so we had the 9.15. We were going to have me and Evan do the first hour, 45 Ish. minutes. And then Christy A., the children's pastor, mm-hmm. and Evan, the middle school pastor, were going to do the second hour so I could go get ready for going live. Well, Christy, when the tornado comes through, she mm. says, I don't feel what I'm not comfortable with this. She didn't yeah. want to leave her babies, which I totally get. Right. So the next thing you know, John, that where you got involved. So, I said, you better so find this, somebody. So the way this started, Christy called me and, you know, understandably wanted to skip that. We could hear your ice through the mic. <laughs> well, I was trying to. That's, that's fine. It's <laughs> fine. It? Okay. Yeah. It's more realistic that way. It is. That's wrong. You see it on, if you watch it on the YouTube. On the YouTube. Because mm. Angie kept saying, why do you say the YouTube? Because <laughs> it's, it's the, the YouTube. YouTube. It is. It's the YouTube channel. Unlike the Walmart. Well, or it's the Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. Yes, yeah, the YouTube. Anyway. <laughs> So Christy calls me, says that she doesn't really need to go because of the kids. So I'm like, no problem. The best person I could think of be on the radio would be Uncle Odie. Oh yeah, why wouldn't Scotty? Why wouldn't on? Scotty Waddy be on there? Scotty right. Boo. So she had already tried to call him, and she said, "Hey, he's not answering my call." And I was like, "Oh, he'll mm. answer my call." Yeah, I did so, not. So, <laughs> and that would be a you, that would not be so a three phone not. calls later and. At least three from your wife. Yeah, that's six. Yeah, that's six, seven, seven including Christy. Christy. Yeah. So finally, I looked at my wife and I said, "I'm gonna have to get dressed and go wake Scott up." <laughs> well, hey, and, hey Scott, well, if it's a rainy Sunday morning, you're off. I had my phone on silent, which it, is rare, but because I didn't think I had anything to do on Sunday except for watch the service at eleven. Sure, well, I wasn't you concerned. Yeah, so I had my alarm set for like ten. You weren't hunting eggs. I was dead to the world. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have any kids to get no. up and go hunt eggs. No, no. no. So <laughs> sleep in. Then I hear this banging at my door, like loud, banging. like loud banging. Which apparently he had been there for a while. <laughs> that's how. That's how hardcore I was asleep. Hey, my well. banging on the door got progressively yeah. louder as I got wetter. So, so then you started thinking because it's pouring down well, rain. Yeah, it's pouring so down rain on my head, and I, he don't have a covered no patio. Porch. No. Not on the trailer, no. So I grab my phone, and I see all the missed calls, and my first immediate thought was, there is a tornado headed for my house, and John's come to get me. Yep. Because Scott lives in a trailer, we always try yes. to watch out for him yes. and go, hey, right. there's inclement weather coming, yes. Scott. Well, especially with my wife calling, too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I saw Teresa and John, I thought, oh, no, there's a tornado coming. So I won't go into details, but I needed to put clothes on <laughs> <laughs> before I open the door. Please don't go into details. So I yell. Uh, did you say, take the mic oh, away yeah, yeah. and holler like, hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> it wasn't that nice. It was a lot more Give me, than Pull that. the mic right. away and how did it go? Hold on. Because <laughs> at that point, Scott, you didn't know who was at the door. I knew it was John. You I thought? Figured it, I, I pretty you much figured it was John, it. yeah. Yeah. Because of all the missed calls. Yeah. And who else would be there? I, I thought it was either John or my parents. Because I really did... 
At that time, I thought there's a tornado coming and someone's come to get me. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably. Yeah. yeah. So then he finally, you got up. I got up. So what happens when you open the door, though? You're on the phone with your hoodie on out in the rain, (laughs) and he's on the phone, and he's pacing because he's on the phone with you, talking to you about different stuff. And I'm like, I'm trying to tell him, come inside. And he's just pacing. (laughs) The cats are hiding underneath the chair, little (laughs) heads just poking out. Like, what is going on? Easter 2020. Happy Easter. Yep. Yep. And then he goes, you got to be on the radio. I'll see you later. Get dressed. (laughs) And then the funniest part about that is you probably didn't pay attention to anything because it didn't apply to you. Mm -hmm. So you probably drive through the storm. (laughs) Well, hold on. (laughs) So I come off, I come down 220. Yeah. And it goes from, well, first of all. Because the radio station is downtown Shreveport. Uh, Yeah. I mean, it's in that area. So when I leave my house as I'm driving down 220 from Haunton, the sky turns green. And I think, well, that's not good. (laughs) That's where you hear that voiceover. In a world where three kids yeah. and the sky turns green. And then <laughs> I think I hear a tornado siren go off, like for real. We don't have tornadoes. We don't have one. Tor- I can't even say it. Base, <laughs> We don't even have a siren. The base has one. Yeah, Trust but, me. Because you're on I-220. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah that it's was creepy. in your head. Yeah, yeah. so. I'm now like, you're hearing crap. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Seeing things, hearing crap. Yeah. So as I come down the loop off of 220 to take market, it goes from green to bright to all of a sudden jet black, like nighttime, and it happened like that, like a snap of the finger. And you're thinking, I'm dry. This better. This and radio I station better, better be important. Better be. I I better be important. And then as I come underneath the bridge, all of a sudden the rain hits, and I can't see the red light that's maybe a yard in front of me. Wow. <laughs> A but, yard? That means you'd be under it. It'd yeah. be, I mean, <laughs> oh, I, I or you have a high car. Yeah. You have okay. a really high Maybe car. a couple yards. Let's do, let's do 500 feet. How there we go. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it, we're it's making story. stuff up now, but yeah. It's, yeah. Make it, it, up it, it was not visible. It was not visible. Like the, right. it, literally, it was it was kind of in front of me, and then it just disappeared. Yeah. So you, you probably go. drove through the tornado. I probably did, because when I came back, all the grass where I, because I went back the way I came, and all the grass right there at 220 North Market was flat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You so probably like, went through the storm, the eye of the storm. Yeah, and Angie was coming in at the same time. Oh, yeah. She, she looked was, She looked like it when she went on TV. <laughs> no, she didn't. And, and this is the I got to clear this up because me and Angie went back and looked. Y'all did not watch this. Go back and watch. I you, will go back I think watch. you're remembering her first time because this time she no. came in hot. You got, I, we, I was we, in we, the we, radio station. We yeah. watched it last night because I told her that Scott said <laughs> she looked a little scared. And she says, I need to watch that. So she pulls it up and she said, "They're not telling the truth." Scott even commented on the radio. I know it. Okay, so yeah, so I go and I pull it up and watch it with her because I think, well, maybe she doesn't see it. Yeah, she's telling the truth. You go back and watch it. Hey, mm. so I, I'm just you go back and watch it. Hey, and let's, I will go today. Back Every individual it. knows their level of fear. Yeah. Mm. And so she said, not that she wasn't scared. She was scared, right. but that when we watched it, she really don't come across she was that good. So we'll see. No, I don't think she came across scared. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the look on her face initially well, we'll is look a at tinge it. of fear. Yeah. Well, you, you had gone through. I understand. You had walked through hell. Well, yes. the funniest part about the whole deal is he had he was not prepared to do this. No, that's radio what I'm saying. You walked in the radio station. There, you're and, like and you it, don't even know clues. No, you don't know. Know. <laughs> it took 15 minutes for him to figure out even where he was. <laughs> Well, he it really him, wasn't awake. Took him 15 minutes to put his clothes on. I'm talking about once he got to the studio because I listened. Well, because I was hoping that there would be some kind of like, hey, this is what we're doing, but you had to get to the convention center. So it was like, all right, you're on the radio, bye. So I was like, (laughs) and good morning. (laughs) How's everybody out there in 89.1? But I think Dan liked it. He wants to, he still wants us to do a radio show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which that would would be classic. I don't know if classic's the word. Yeah, well, we got a podcast. Yeah. So we'll just keep yeah. the podcast going. <laughs> hey, well, while you're talking about driving, can we do a COVID-19 update? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Can yes. we? Oh, let's see. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you can't make it oh, up. Scott. That was totally accidental. Oh, totally. All right, here we go. COVID-19 update. Driving. All right, so this, I try to give a little tip every week. This is fresh. Oh, he's bringing in a tip. We're coming back to Easter, It is, we are, but But, I just couldn't pass it up while we're talking about driving. Yes, driving, sure. Driving in America is down so much that your auto insurer, whichever one you have, 
is going to be giving you some of your money back for April and May on your premium. You know why they had to do that? Why is that? Because, John, America is in a financial crisis. How silly would you be (laughs) as the biggest stealers of money? Insurance company. Wow. Ooh. It's pretty tough, though. You got some friends that are agents out there. I, I like agents. I'm just saying that when you start thinking about that, they're, they're providing they're, a service. They're restricted to their house, and they can only drive. So it makes perfect sense. And I got to give them a lot of credit to for to go, because they weren't mandated. Well, here's the way the story goes, and, and I'm not sure this is 100% accurate because it's only from one source. Who? Can you name your source? Or is it unnamed? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd he go? Uh, <laughs> Beavis and Buddy. <laughs> yeah. But the way the story goes is one little independent insurance company started this trend. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like a political. community-based yeah. one or something, and they were like, we're going to give you know 20% of the premium back, and then Geico did it. And then, and then, and it was like a chain reaction. But bottom line is to help you out financially, when your June bill comes around, they're saying you're going to see a little rebate on there. And nice. what I'm saying is, so, I mean, I'm very thankful. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you're a little edgy this morning. He I'm, is I'm, edgy. But I'm going, guys, <laughs> the majority of people in this country are not driving. Right. Not 25% less. Scott did. He drove right through yeah, the eye. Well, I, I'm out too, too. I'm just thankful <laughs> I'm getting anything. But, I mean, they're, they're like, by region, there's some of them not driving at all. So you think the discount should vary I, based on how much the area's driving? Or by at least by region. For example, if you're in New York, yeah, and you look, they need to really hook them people up. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, okay, that. so if you're in New Orleans, you I need to hook that. those people. But when you come up to, like. What if you're in Frierson, Louisiana? Middle, 25%. <laughs> but, what I'm get sa- 10. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, then there's some states that didn't even shut out you ain't getting nothing you're still driving yeah good point so like but but well, this, i understand this was, this was supposed to be a positive story well <laughs> it's kind of no positive. it's a COVID update it yeah wasn't, it, but, no but it was financial like a blessing a small one and i'm very thankful for it yes but i still just kind of sorry i brought it up well, <laughs> insurance. Okay, so let's go to insurance in Louisiana. Oh boy. Oh. I am no. sorry I went here. <laughs> Is it? Y'all tell me because I don't know. I'm only uh-huh. hearing this, uh-huh. and you're the money guy. Uh huh. So let's put okay, the pressure. I think I know where you're going. Are we I not no the idea. highest insurance? We're one of the highest. And there's really no real reason. You know, well, the reason is because of lawsuits. And that's because we got a lot we, of... We probably need to have a guest speaker come on on this. <laughs> so it's oh, Mark because Perkins, of litigation. Yeah, Mark Perkins but, will be texting. But other people have litigation. It's just the amount that happens in this state. And I don't understand fully why we have so much more of it. Mark Perkins could help us with this. Mark, if you're listening, I know you yeah, are. Yeah. Feel so, free to email but, me an explanation. So the reason I'm saying that is, is we're already got really high premiums. We do. So they're probably got us down to where everybody else is paying. Probably. And you're going, hey, it's, all right. It's a COVID-19 gift. Yeah, it's a gift. Oh, but anyway, I'm gift. thankful for it. Yeah. Now, has anybody seen their money in their account yet for the is stimulus package? Well, actually, I meant to check this morning because my dad texted me. And I can said look right now. He got his this morning. I have the mobile Because I, I have not heard anybody locally. I have heard of one, and it's really a cool story, if you don't mind me sharing. Well, sure. It's, it's COVID-related. It'd be another COVID oh, update. Well, let's all right, it. let's see if I can do it right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a drum snare. <laughs> oh, let's try it again. <laughs> Here we go. COVID. That's way too long of a pause. (laughs) I don't know what you're... It was... uh, Hold on. What is going on, Scott? (laughs) I am struggling today. Uh, We're going to get into that very shortly. (laughs) But we need to get... It's a COVID update. And hit it. All right. Here we go. Good. COVID update. More on driving. I don't no, think it was it's driving. Not driving. I think it no, was, it was it's more stimulus. Insurance. Oh, stimulus. Yes. So, right. stimulus. so we do have a family in our church that got their stimulus check. Yes. One of the first ones I've heard of, and they did a cool thing. They donated it to the church. Yes. So somebody might say, "Why would you do that?" Well, here's the cool part. Um, obviously, they had the ability to do that. They, right. They had the money, but then the whole point of the money is to stimulate the economy. So by giving it to the church, guess what we're going to do with it? Give it. We're going to spend it <laughs> on the local economy, right. either through payroll, through blessing people, doing the grocery things tonight. Right. So it's kind of cool. It's like it's doing its purpose. 
Yeah, and didn't even ask. Never even yeah, thought of it. Never even thought of the idea, honestly. But so it's really cool. Super cool. See? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, Very cool. All yeah. right. No, I just tried to log into my account, and my bank was like, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> they well, probably know your state of mind today. <laughs> yeah, they're like, keep him out. Keep him out. They have new intelligence in these apps that says he is not good today. Yeah, Do not, not let him have today. access. All right, so let's go back to Easter real fast. Y'all can update us if you get an update of you've gotten I your I don't statement. appear to have gotten it. Okay. So At this point. Well, Scott, we'll look at it later. So we get through Easter uh, egg thing because we didn't do it. Then we did the service and all that, and which is fine. And then you went back, and we had the bunny reappear. We did. In an afternoon, <laughs> we in an afternoon appearance. He did. And people really weren't interested. Uh, more so at the office than at the Gimmington Center. Yes. We had him in two locations. Well, he's able to be in two locations. He is. He is magical. He is. That's he's the Easter Bunny. He's the Easter he Bunny. He can do things that other bunnies can't do. Right. <laughs> not any bunny can do that. <laughs> no. Oh, that he's was not so your average bad. bunny. No, not any bunny can do that. My our bunny. I was at the convention center location, and what was really good. interesting. <sighs> yeah, speaking of, because I saw both of the Easter bunnies on Sunday. You saw the bunny. The bunny. Two places. Yes. Yeah. Magical bunny. He really varies in his shape. <laughs> <laughs> wow what? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean okay, you mean like so, belly so, wise or height we're gonna go with height because bunny a my first appear my now they're same bunny they're the same but bunny my first John. observation it's easter of, bunny not yeah. easter bunnies i understand my easter bad bunny. i know this because i love him yeah uh the first time I saw the Easter Bunny, he mm. was rather short. Yes. Which mm. kind of made his little skin wrinkle up <laughs> around the he middle. He wasn't, yeah. He didn't fill out his little bunny self. That's like Ito, our, our dog. Yeah, the, the yeah. exactly. Male pup. He's got a lot of skin to grow yeah, into. Exactly. But then I get to the convention center where my location was, and he yeah. looked like a beanpole bunny. He's tall. <laughs> He was yeah, very he was tall, tall, bunny. Yeah, well, I mean, but his head was the same size both times. Well, that's all mm-hmm. right. He, he may have been from when he crossed that river swimming. Oh, he may have crossed that fur river. Fur got wet and stretched. Yeah. It's like fur got, a, fur know, got like wet a, and stretched. And, yeah, have you ever seen an animal whoop, that has a bath? They lost some weight like that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's probably the explanation. Yeah. Oh gosh. Anyway, so yeah. yeah, that was interesting. And then we were on in the afternoon KTBS, and yep. we never heard anybody comment on it, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I bet everybody was done with watching sermons. Yeah. Oh. But we stressed about that. Good. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. was hard getting that. To, I, we I, had to film it early. I feel for edit it. Edit all that stuff down, and we thought we it you have to be fifty eight. 59 minutes, 58 minutes, and 30 seconds long. Wow. wow. Exactly. So have you ever thought about that? I had never really mm-hmm. thought about that. So we had to edit, cut, like, and because con- you don't know. And so you put it all together. But Caleb and Chip and all Adam, all of them did They've a great job. They've all done great during all of this. So for you, how difficult was it to communicate to literally nobody? It's weird. That's strange, isn't it? Because like but you, had you know, less, you had less people than ever for Easter Sunday <laughs> in the room. Yeah, John, when you go down to like four people, it's yeah. weird. Wow. And they're not like the most engaged people. No, me. They're doing a job. Yeah, they're not even listening to you. No. So no, you have to mentally not. go, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm right. talking to whoever they are, and yeah. you're trying to look I, out there. I feel for but it. to not do that on a regular basis i mean we ain't joel osteen we're not on tv i don't don't... think i would do very well with that so it's like you have to power you have to just you have to just focus yeah which is strange it is i mean nobody i've never done it before i've never had to do it before so you're doing it now you begin to do it but encouragement from people are like when we get to the post or the even the week after and you get emails it reminds you and it helps you to keep doing it. So right. probably more than any other time. Me and Andrew were talking about this last night. It's like you don't. I don't long or wake up going. I hope somebody sent me an email. Tell me I did good by nature, by personality. Right. Some personalities may be more that way. Mine. I go okay. I'm thankful I get to do it and love it when they come in. But I'm not longing for them. Now it, you feel yourself almost in some ways going. Did that work? <laughs> because the one of the things happens when you're talking to a group of people. The laughter yeah. naturally comes back, or the moans. If you yeah. do something stupid, they're like, "Oh, he's right." You don't hear any. Yeah, no feedback. 
nothing. Good or bad. Good or <laughs> and so in that that's also what makes it a little more. You have to believe it's because I'm going back to like Jimmy Fallon and all of them. If you're watching them, they struggle a little too mm-hmm. because it's like they laugh at themselves to make it funny because no, oh, yeah, they're going. There ain't nobody to give me feedback. Well, let's be honest. There's no it, audience. There in is the, in their in, in their gig. They have a big either a big sign or people that are telling people to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've been to those shows. Yeah. They hold up boards or line, right. you know, applause, laughter. Yeah, and it's a big team of people writing all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making all that work. You're a team yeah. of one yeah, on the writing part. Well, on the, yeah, but there's people that help me edit it or whatever. But, yeah, yeah. but usually that's what's weird is, like, you kind of, if you write a joke or you say a joke or you feel like this is going to be funny, Right. The bunny, I'll give you a great example. So I put up the three Easter bunny pictures. <laughs> well, that's all funny to me. Uh-huh. But normally in a room, you would hear their reaction like, oh, that's jacked up. Or yeah. I can hear some people, or I, I'm just believing that somebody laughed, or they go, hey, I that, laughed at my house. That, yeah, thank oh, you. Man. Or they go, like, because yeah. them were some spooky bunnies. They were. I don't like them. Did you see that little woman in that little onesie mm-hmm. thing? I don't like that. Go back and watch that. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, that was weird. <laughs> But it, it that's what's weird is you don't have that no, anymore. You're just kind of like, hey. But like Lisa McDaniel, sweet Lisa, was like, oh, it was good. I, I mean, it. I think y'all are knocking it out. Which that helps you because you're going, right. yeah, like if you want something different or you feel something different, it helps us to well, get what, a vibe. What might encourage you, and you don't have a chance to see this in real time, is but through Facebook, they comment in real time. Yes. So and so Evan's watching that and other people, the table of tech or the top table. Yeah, and I've heard, just if you happen to be one of these people, mm-hmm. that Christy Rose gives a pretty good explanation of how to watch it through the app but open Facebook on her phone. Right. So that you don't, in case Facebook falls out, you can still make comments, but you never That's lose the connection to the message. And I thought, yeah. yes. That's good. I'm watching never... it on the old TV. Yeah, so she's now watching it on her big screen, which they say is better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it comes in full HD. Yeah. yeah. So, so having said all that, I think we all agree that we're looking forward to a big, normal Easter next year. Because my daughter, yes. Lauren, she's in Dallas, and, of course, every church is in this situation. Yeah. And she kind of coined it small Easter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was her term that she used, because she's at a big church, too, over right. there. And it was special in its own way, but I don't think anybody wants to do it that way again. <laughs> no. What, no, I mean, there may be a few people out there that just absolutely loved it, but for the most part, what I'm hearing is like, that was kind of a womp womp. Yeah, I don't know how it couldn't be, and the reason I say that, multiple reasons. Mm-hmm. One, there's a natural hype to that day, unlike even Christmas. Absolutely. There's only one Sunday you're doing it. That's so right. all energy, Christmas is over three or four weeks, or yep. you may do a Christmas Eve, but still it's like... There's a series. But it's it's a month long deal yeah. though, really. Yeah, Easter is kind of like we're shooting for that Sunday. If you're and then, Catholic, it's a week, right? You know, Forty days, really, but it's the Holy Week. You got right. this whole build up, but we're not really in that genre. No. no. So yeah, you're right. Christmas stretches out. Yeah, but like for even even Catholics, Baptist, whatever it is, you're kind of shooting for the big day. That's though. right. <laughs> I That's mean, right. So it's like even with holy, all of that is pomp and circumstance leading up to, to, to today day. is the day. That's right. So when that, when you, and then and then everybody goes and there's activities for kids, there's food with yes. your family, there. Well, all of that is off. They got squashed. So it's and with us, we had a double squashing because you were going to try to have a family fun and it got rained out. It did. Now other people again, and it don't matter. And it like even the drive-in. I think Cypress did the drive-in. Maybe a couple other churches did. Asbury, I think maybe have done another church in town. It's just not the same. I don't yeah. care how you like. People are telling us there is like if you're in the fifth row, sixth row back, <laughs> I'm listening to the radio. I could do this at home. I can't right. see nothing up there. Except I don't, the car next to you. Yeah, but that's, a, I mean, but wave. that was kind of the goal there. It's kind of like what we were doing with the Easter deal is that people are longing to see each other. Yeah, but you can only see that car. I next understand. Day. But that's better than nobody. <laughs> yeah, I guess. People are struggling out yes. there, man. They really yes. are, aren't they, Scott? Yes. Yeah, but you get to see us, Scott. That's true. It's not helping him, though. No. <laughs> no. That's not shocking. <laughs> I'm I don't just know saying, what that says about us. I'm just saying that in general, <laughs> no one would choose this no. these methods. Only for, a hermit for for Easter. Right. You may, and now maybe, and again, 
there is like we got that really cool email from a guy in Kentucky that we don't even know or that was watching that we've never heard of. So right. I'm going, I mean, that's cool because different people are exposed to what you're doing. And now to and far part of the encouragement was is like um the Donners sent me mm-hmm. a letter just going, Hey man, we've been watching since we've been so people that weren't typically watching are watching now. Right. Dwayne Moore out of Dallas. So that was Arkansas, Dallas, Cheryl McNear, uh you know, uh, she, hey man, we started watching again. So I, it, the cool thing is, is people are watching in different areas that probably typically wouldn't because they were going to church somewhere. Exactly. So their church is either not good at it yeah. or they go. I was going to say, it don't come across very good live where that gives us some credit of going, hey, it, it's easy yeah, to watch. You took the words right out of my mouth because the advantage I think the simple church has is our product, for lack of a better term, Sunday method. morning product method. <laughs> Really, did you like that? It, it, it really works in this setting more so than your traditional choir and. Oh, I, yeah, normal. I listened and watched a few. It's tough. It's tough. It's really. I feel for them. I mean, all all kidding aside, there's. I really feel for the traditional church that's low on tech, that yeah, didn't tough. have a plan for this, and they're doing their best, but it's just hard. So here was the other thought we had yesterday. I don't remember who it was. Maybe been just me and you, Scott, or. Me, you, and John. Because there's not anybody in the office. That's the other thing that's weird. Yeah. And we did a Zoom meeting again yesterday. We did. Mm-hmm. Did it not feel worse yesterday than any other Sunday to me? Yes, it did. And I think it was the weird anticlimactic yeah. Easter, and then everybody just staring at me look at the, at the, well, the computer, and I'm like, we, oh. won't, we, won't, we won't get into any names, <laughs> but there's stories of, like, tension in the homes yeah. Oh, of, yeah. of team members yeah. because they're tired of each other. Yes, that, but you could just sense yeah. that, like, I think Easter was something like, hey, now, again, the other thing is is there were ideas, but yeah, pretty much I think what happens. Yeah, tell me what happens. Is that they thought we were going to be able to do something fun. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. Yeah. We had tornado, <laughs> tornadoes come through. You can't this, say that, that word. That scared some of them. Uh-huh. They are edgy with each other. They didn't get to eat with their friends or their right. family. It's tough. And we didn't see anybody. And so now we're coming back and going, all right, what's next? And everybody's like, I don't even want to do <laughs> right. today, much less think about what's yeah. next. Yeah. But yeah. one fun idea did come out of it, though, if we want to talk about Friday night. Yes. Well, and Christy had it kind of planned. But I think, I think the good thing is is it gets it got a little bigger. It did. It got more buy-in yes. by more people. Yeah. And that's going to be for little Katie Bug. We're going to do a book distribution at Party Central on Friday night from 6 to 8. Mm-hmm. And Spud's gonna give out ice cream in a uh, COVID-friendly way. Yes, so safe. it'll safe way. Uh, but and and every kid that wants a book just to honor Katie Bug, you can come by and they'll give you a book. Christy read it yesterday. I think they're posting all that too. So cool. She's reading it to all the kids. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there's and to give us some credit, which I don't know if we deserve it or not. But as I think through it. Helping the grocery store uh, store workers tonight, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Going out and just encouraging them. I mean, the nurses thing, the finding creative ways to encourage somebody and take the focus off of how pitiful you think you are and realize that there are a lot of people that are sacrificing and making those things work. It kind of gives you a little better perspective. And Katie Bug and them is another great one. It's like uh, the Lilies was a big deal. More people, more staff should have done that. There was plenty of space. Yeah. So you could have very that, easily that. spread out through the parking lot because the benefit was not the lily. Right. The benefit was person after person going, we love y'all, we miss you, thank you for doing this. Yeah. I can't wait till we get back. Yeah, I hate that I missed that now so that when I you don't, could have. Well, and we didn't know. Right. Cause, but Derek Ellis, and this is, again, where it comes back to businesses that are creative and giving. I mean, Ellis Potter, who's, they're great givers, period. But then to come up with that idea and go, let's give away 400 lilies. To people, and then the people telling us their story. I'm taking this to my neighbor, that senior adult, and they just need an encouragement now. And they, and I'm going, man, that's a pretty big win. Now we all start cutting up and having a good time with it, right? And some people came that didn't get them because we ran out. Sorry, you yeah. got to get there, man. Same with these books. Just if you're listening, and you're coming Friday night, you wanna you wanna get there. Not that we will run out, but I would hate for you yeah. to get out and not get a, a ice cream and a and a book for your for your baby. Yeah, it is first come, first serve. And it could be for your grandparent. I mean, grandparents could get out, too. Just yeah. to, Even if your kid's not with you, swing by and get a book for your grandkid. And right. Have something to Zoom and read to them or FaceTime them and read them a book in honor of Katie's life. It's yes. awesome. Mm-hmm. 
I like that. So you're <laughs> you you you're <laughs> you're not you're not doing well. No, I'm not. No. So I'll, I think, I'll get there though. Don't worry. What what is it? We're not gonna go into specifics. Wait, what do you mean? You're not gonna go into specifics? In, I mean, there may be more, but you've just struggled the last few days. My I, my anxiety is somewhere north of Mount Everest right now. <laughs> oh, That's oh, pretty wow. high. And what I'm, is causing? Well, this is a counseling. Clint Davis counseling. But yeah, yeah, Hasim did call me this morning. That's Thank his you, counselor. Yeah, yeah, and counselor. how did he? help you through it he said let's have an appointment tomorrow <laughs> that's good that's good that's good see so we're you're getting counseling yeah. so are you is it the fear of what's happening to people i guess like monday and yesterday and this morning well all three days this <laughs> that would be the last three days <laughs> yeah. but it looked like you were having a was, stroke was, oh you go to youtube if you yeah. want to see scott have a stroke <laughs> as he t- t- talks yeah. about it yeah, I just this fear of this COVID thing has really got me, and I don't know where it came from. Yeah, it really has. Well, well, partly yesterday when we showed you the bus driver dying, that yeah, I gave you, you out. I mean, that would yeah. be a good reason to get you. Yeah, I mean, it just yeah. golly, it it but, really but, has gripped me. But and to be fair, you had a scare last week. I did. You I were did. you were a slight scaring. Yeah. yeah, you were quarantined at home for a couple of days, but you were good. I'm good, but, but you were cleared. And I have no signs or symptoms, and I'm doing all the precautions, and I know that I'm going to be okay, because in the back of my mind, I know I'm going to be fine. That's good self-talk. I like yeah, it. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, but yet my anxiety, it's just like, it's like well, a- And I think that's where people have to be honest, and where I appreciate you being honest about it, is going, hey, man, this is the way I feel, and I'm working through it. Right. Yeah. Or some people don't work through it, and they're not honest, and so then it just com- uh, compiles and, yeah. make, and complexes- Situation no. complicates, compiles, compiles, complexes. I mean, wow, whatever you get what I'm saying, <laughs> but that's the truth that they don't deal with it, so then it sneaks up on them and takes them out. So, yeah, I, what yeah. I love about you, Scott, is you're an open book. Yeah, unfortunately, no, that's a fortunate thing. <laughs> yeah, in the appropriate place. Well, and everybody yes. processes it different, like based on your personality, you know, you could be anxious. Some people start cleaning everything. I mean, I've heard stories. I wish I had that in my house. Where are they at? <laughs> Let me give them the Benton address. Come on out. There's one staff family that uh, the husband says, I think every baseboard in our house has been cleaned at least three times. Maybe. Amen. Yeah, you know, just because we, don't. we all have different, like, I just tend to get busy. Like, just to know how I process it. My wife's like, my gosh, how many home projects can you tackle? Yeah, then you're spending all your uh, stimulus. Yep. <laughs> but hey, she's looking good though. <laughs> I'd rather do it, but that's minus time. So right. I get it. I'd rather. But the, fortunately, I've not felt like I've had time. Well, this is what's been about weird this. about this. Yeah. You're, it's you're, like everybody's like, man, I'm just. I'm like, good God, get me. that's why somebody said, who was it I talked to? I said, well, we. T- I took Monday off. Uh-huh. They're like, well, why? And I'm like. <laughs> good God, I've been working. I, it don't stop yeah, for me. Yeah, it, I, the creation, the right, everything's still going, and well, it's actually more. Yeah, I was yes. going to say, I feel like there's probably more pressure on you right now because the product is, because it's just you. That's it. Pretty much. There's no preschool, yeah. no children's, no lobby, no. <laughs> it's all Yeah, so all of a sudden, you. like, good luck. I'm right. going to go work in the yard. I'm like, good <laughs> God, I wish I was working in the yard. And you should. In time. You should but I don't there. have time. Right. Unfortunately, that, well, like get now, better. a good thing like KTBS called today. I did a morning show today. We're doing a Zoom this afternoon. We have something for graduation we're working on, which is taking, yeah, because it is creative problem solving, which that's what I want to do. I mean, that's what I think we should be doing. So, yeah. to to be a part of all that, I get it. And the same way with it's not that I'm the only one. Let's don't get into some pity party. I'm going. Everybody's doing their jobs and they do them differently at home. Robin's got just as much to do, more probably than she would typically do. Correct. Because you may spread it out, so it ain't like nobody is. I'm just saying that as all that's going on, it's a little weird because you're trying to you're trying to grapple with all that. And when everybody's telling me, "Well, I did this in the yard," I'm like, "I'm going to do that." Now I've done a few little projects. Yeah. But yeah. I got to get Charlie over there. I got to get some electrical work done. We'll get him over there. Yeah, I got to get the. He came through for us. Our granny on my wife's side had a tree fall late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Well, because it was bad again Sunday it was. night. It was. I slept right through. Yeah, Man, when I, I. You should have seen. Now, I've seen hail. We just got that new roof, too. Mm. So we're sitting in there, and all of a sudden, I'm telling you, a hailstorm in Benton came out of nowhere. 
and it piled up like snow. The whole ground was covered like white. Yeah, wow. And and Ian was like, "That what is that?" And I was like, "That's called hell." Yeah. And he we walked out there, and I'm telling you, it was coming down. Now I don't think we got any damage. I hope not. I don't even want to look, to be honest, because I love insurance. <laughs> Justin, I love insurance. I know you Thankful do. we have it. Yes, you are. There you go. <laughs> I think but, it's fairly priced, and I think it's yes, wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate you changing your tone. Yeah. So I happened to have on our Easter shirt when we went over to Granny's on Monday to uh, – maybe I didn't. Don't She's, lie. Yeah, I think I didn't have You're it on lying. that day. Mm-hmm. But Granny had seen the shirt before that says, Love God, Love People, Solve Problems. Mm-hmm. And we actually got to – help her and she said she said john <laughs> she sounds a lot like that. yeah i've seen her yeah I've heard talk to she her. turned 91 on she's Saturday. blind too isn't she, she is blind pretty much yeah she sees basic shapes yeah kind of like me when i drive <laughs> like, about my glasses she, she knows your basic <laughs> oh, shape man. oh there's the round guy Ooh. come on <laughs> we just we just you brought in the picture from 19 yeah wherever yeah. we don't have technology to better show no. this Maybe I'll put it in a message so you can right. see it, but that is classic. I was about a lot lighter. 50 pounds lighter. How old were you? Uh, probably 22. Yeah. Wow. Man, times change. Yeah. That's what me and Angel are talking about is just age. That's Everything hurts. Oh, gosh, yes. So, like, it's like. Yeah, it's so I'm walking weird. in the mean street. So, this is only to encourage you in your depression, Scott. Yeah, so, <laughs> so they, they say <laughs> you're only getting worse. Well, yeah, they, only getting worse. We've mentioned before they shut down all the gyms, so you can't go to the gym. So I'm walking in the mean streets of doghood, <laughs> and uh, for some reason, my 53 year old body, some days when this cold snap hit, and I headed out Monday morning for that walk, I was like, "This ain't good." My knees were hurting. My right calf locked up. Yeah, it's just. I was like, "Wow, it's tough. It's tough, man. It's uh, a hard world out there. Hard world." He's <laughs> <laughs> young. Oh, oh man, son, you're just you, you are right. in a, you're a hot mess. You're a hot, 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 hot mess. <laughs> I apologize. Well, Scott, wow. you're gonna get through. I'm gonna get through. I'm gonna be fine. I know that, and that's the frustrating part because the back of my mind is going, "Hey, dude, you're." I don't know what's going on, but you're going to be okay. <laughs> I like how it talks <laughs> awfully, like, though. Is that one of your voices in your head? Yeah, it's one. Yeah, just talks yeah. Like, hey, you have about man. four or five, hey, right? Man. Hey, man, you're going to be f- – like, hey. why are you freaking out? Everything's fun. Yeah. You're fun. Then what's the other voice saying, though, the one that's got you? <laughs> <laughs> just constant once, screaming. Once again, another YouTube watch. Yeah, you got to watch that. Uh. But that's the, that's the hard – I think everybody's battling that. So, yeah. like, I watched – there was a five or six – on the KTBS thing this morning, there was, like, five or six new – I mean, uh, businesses. Right. So Tamales, Megan from Tamales was on there, and there were different people. But I think that's the thing is I thought – because Harrison Paint was on there. Uh huh. So uh, Chris, and I can't remember his wife's name. But anyway, I was like, so y'all are, y'all are an essential, so you're having people come. And they said, no, nobody can come in our store. I'm like, why? They're in Home Depot and Lowe's. Nope, we've been told that they – that's what's confusing. That's very weird. So then there was another, like an interior store, Cantella's or something, I can't remember. And she was like, no, we just curbside people. And I'm I'm going, I don't, that's what's so confusing it about it. So in other words, it's like business confusion, personal confusion. I mean, for us now, we're trying to figure out graduation confusion. Yeah, because the announcement just came out. No school for the rest of the year. Now, that's not. Wow. Now, I ain't going to lie. My wife did a backflip through the backyard. Yeah, she was like, that's it. Because she's like. Does she don't have to go back at all. Now, I mean, she works from home. Yeah, and yeah. They're, now they're doing, like, the class setups for next year and who's going to sit in what class and what space they're going to use and getting grades prepared. And so the job continues, but, you know, she's not going to the office office. What's going to be weird is, is what if they do all this and then it kicks back up in the fall? Oh, yeah. You're not helping Scott when you make comments like that. Well, I'm just saying <laughs> we don't know. You don't. So th- that's the thing is you just, you know, you got to hopefully – prayerfully it'll kind of level off and move on but i'm going because we were talking about yesterday again all of us is what is the church going to look like so what is school going to look like yeah. what is business going to look like mark cuban was on the mm-hmm. tv this morning i was hearing coming in on the radio for me 
And he was like, dude, don't let anybody tell you. Nobody knows. They don't. He said, so I'm on Trump's whatever his board, but he's like. <laughs> Task force. He's supposed to be running for president, by the way. Did you know that? No. He, no. Had a, he was going he was going to run for president. So they asked him, like, I thought you were running for president. He said, well, I'm not saying I'm not anymore. I'm just saying that I'm on this task force because I'm more worried about small business and business than I am my personal thing. So we'll get into that later. And they said, well, are you or aren't you? I'm not going to talk about that right now. Right. We need to go back into just how we're going to get these businesses open. But he, his opinion was it'll be a you where uh, mm-hmm. Trump rebound. thinks it'll be a V. Yeah. So And I kind of thought it might be like a real quick response because like right now, if they open up restaurants – Every one of us fat guys are in there today oh, for I, lunch. I told you, I dream about it. <laughs> maybe maybe last week I would be, not this week. You would. You would not go eat in a restaurant? No. I dream not, about not today. it. Scott, if I looked at you and said, look, we're look, going. Scott, if I said, hey, we're going to go over to Notini's. I'd say, no, thank you. Hey. We're <laughs> That's gonna, that other voice. That's the other voice. I like you. No, thank hey, you. Hey, no, thank you. Hey, we're going to go over to Tamales. I'm telling you, I can't even eat right now. The the positivity about this this anxiety is I haven't eaten in three in two days, so I'm gonna lose. You weight. almost went three. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, he's making up the number. Yeah, two or three days. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, like yeah. I can't. Anything I eat comes up. So, wow, it's bad. Man, I admire you for doing a podcast in the Thank midst you. of your struggle. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, well, we so, didn't really give him a choice. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's good. It gives you something to look forward to. Exactly. I bet yeah. we can eat after this though. I don't think Come so. Come on, let's try. Come on. Why wouldn't let's, we try? Let's, when let's this go. thing's over, hey, <laughs> let's do it. Because speaking of that, that's a great idea. Because one of the things that you can do right now, if you really long to see somebody, if you live alone like Scott, a lot of people do, you are allowed to get fast food or any food through a drive through or whatever. It's not just fast food. Right. <laughs> food. And, and meet up in a parking lot and socially distance, sit on your tailgate. Yeah. And interact. See, but I think what you're trying to get to, and, and I'll let you finish that yawn whenever you get done. My goodness. Isn't I'm it, telling you. Isn't it that, though, it's not that you could sit in a car and look at somebody. You're just worried about the future. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm worried about I'm worried about two things in particular. The future, what that's going to be. Okay. And then me getting the actual COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So this week's message, should you choose to tune in. Well, I do. It'll encourage you, I think. Now, there's going to be some challenges as we go through that message, though. I'm being honest. <laughs> hey. Being straight. So we're doing Living on the Edge, a little Aerosmith for you. Okay? Living on the Edge! I don't know if that's That exactly was not a it. good Steven no, Tyler. Was... I, but I, who can do Steven Tyler other than Nobody. Steven Tyler? Nobody. Nobody. Exactly. So we're going to try. There's no tribute bands to Aerosmith no, for that I, reason. No, and I think that, and I'm not sure yeah, Aerosmith. Yeah. That was a bold that statement. That was a bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> I'm not sure Aerosmith can do Aerosmith anymore. He can't. Have you seen him lately? He looks like Jerry he, Abel's he when does. he walks. He's yeah, got he them knock no, no knees. Them knock no, no knees. Yeah, knock <laughs> no, 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 knees. Knock no, no knees. <laughs> I love Steven Tyler, though. I mean, there's some things about him that I like about him. I loved him on American Idol. Yeah. That dude was funny. He Did you ever? Funny. Oh, he was I saw great. It. But anyway, but I, the message is like, are we at the end of time? So it's living on the edge. Is is this the end? Well, I did the the research, and this is I told him. Then this I'm giving you a preview of this week. Mm. I said I'm not selling books, and I'm not trying to scare the hell out of you. <laughs> so that's what I grew up with. <laughs> mm-hmm. People are always selling books or fifty point series, or yeah. I'm just trying to walk through and go. I, I'm trying to answer the question. That maybe you're thinking in your head because I have thought it in my head. So there are interesting uh, points of data that are realistic that look at, hey, maybe, maybe not. But there is a key phrase, Scott, I'm going to preview for you that Jesus says, not Justin, not Andy Stanley, not Joel Osteen, <laughs> not Dean, uh, Dean and Paula. <laughs> Dean and Paula. <laughs> Who? Dean? I don't know. Paula Dean, I think I had it. There we go. Just yeah. You made up a No, but I was saying your your mom, Paul, Paula and Don. Don and, Don, Don Don and, and Paula Odom. Yeah, so I was yes. like, not. this is not a parental thing. This is not a Justin thing. This is not a preacher thing. Jesus said, the disciples sat down in a circle like we're doing now. They got up on the top of this mountain, the Mount of Olives to be exact. They're quiet, and they asked the same question you're asking right now. And which I think is very interesting. Like, 
not Revelation, and everybody goes in. It's the horned beast, and yeah. I mean, I we grew up with all. I that. hope the end times sound like that. That's very possible. <laughs> I, I, the way some preachers have preached, I'm pretty sure that's what they think. So, and I ain't going to even open that. I don't know because who knows? That just all trips me out. I'm going back to my boy Jesus. All right, and Jesus looks at him and very clearly says. Don't be afraid. Right. So I go back to if he tells us not to be afraid, I take some solace. I do. I go, hey, listen, if he's on my team and I'm on his team, which that's the goal, and that's where I am, that's what we're trying to be is like, hey, then I think you can take some peace in that and go, all right, you know, he's going, he's got it. So I have to spiritually this is a spiritual thing i just have to keep telling myself that and i have to listen to the positive because what i have found for me personally is if i dwell on the negative or listen to the negative i become way more negative oh yeah so if i get it keep filling in filling it where i keep going back it's like man i'm really not going to do that i mean that's why like if you're preaching or whatever somebody well you need to be no i'm going to do me you going to do you because I need to know that there's hope, and I need to know we're going to get through it, and I need to know he's on my side, and that he promises that we're going to get through it, even when it gets worse, because the truth is it's probably going to get worse. So we're experiencing what that means. Now, again, he also promises in the midst of the struggle that he's going to be there for us and that we don't have a reason to be afraid. You can trust him in that. Now, like Kelly and Stuart, so I talked to her every day for probably an hour, which – uh, Stuart and Kelly. Stuart's my age. He's got COVID. Oh, he's a little older than me. Probably your age. My age. Uh, had some underlying health issues. They said he wasn't going to live. Okay, like that. Just I got a strong feeling this guy's. He's had some heart issues. He's had a heart attack. It's just not going well. So Kelly had that in her voice when we started, and so I could. We got to believe. I mean, it's true. He may. And God's the only one that will term, determine that. Not a doctor, not me, not you. He's the only one that's going to say, your time's up, you're coming. So can we trust him and should we trust him? And so we kept going back to Kelly. I was like, dude, he, you've trusted him your whole life. Look at what he's done. Look how you've come through. Look, what we, and so she was like, you're right. So they all, we all just encourage each other on that because we're speaking positive in each other. No matter what the doctor was saying, She'd tell me, hey, I'm, I'm feeling anxious because they weren't sure. And I was like, well, Kelly, he's just a voice, and we're going to keep believing that God's going to do something. Not to say that it trumps her, but I'm going, what the, what, I almost cussed. What difference <laughs> does it make to be negative? How is it helping you? So you just got to be real. Why? Why do I have, you just need to be real. True, you, you can go that route. But it's not helping you or him, and it's not putting any faith or trust in God that God's got away. So you can go, I'm going to be realistic, but I'm going to trust that God can and has the ability to work this situation out. And if he chooses not to, then that's him. That's his choice, and there will be a reason that I can trust him on that. I'll see that eventually. One day that will make, make more sense to me. I only say that because now that he's getting better, so last night they're like, they're taking him off the vent today. It looks like it's a miracle. It looks like he's... He's going to survive, and he's going to, I'm like, imagine what it would have looked like if you had gone negative that whole time. Oh, yeah. Like, just the emotional stress and pain, because they're all stuck in their house with three college kids, which she was giving me that pain last night. <laughs> like, mm. you know, like, it's a, they're actually young adults, so in their 20s, and can't do what they want to do. And as a mom looking at them going, you can do what you want to do. <laughs> But you can't do what you want to do because they're adults. But she's going, but your dad's about, at that time they thought, may die. We need you here. So there was all of that tension in them walking through that. So now that's starting to lift a little bit. Still got a little ways to go. But as they're going through that, but that's the real part of navigating. And it's like you got to have some voice in your head and you got to have some truth to be able to put in to battle the negativity. And if you choose not to do nothing or you choose to listen to the negative, it's going to take you out because that's the enemy's plan. That's yeah. what I believe. It's a good word right there, man. Well, and that's why I try to tell you is really 
don't be afraid. We got this. And and that's the frustrating part because in the back of my mind, that little soft voice is saying, "You're fine, and God has this, and there's no need to worry." And that, and I read just in you know in the Bible yesterday where Jesus talks about why waste your time on anxiety? It's pointless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's a good I'm point, trying. though. Well, yeah. I'm proud of you though for going to the Word. Thank you. Yeah. Because really, that, I say that, and, I, and I'm not joking at all. That's a big deal. You, if you put other stuff in your head, man, it's tough enough. But getting counseling key, getting around friends, key, listening to what God says other than what other people say, key, Mm -hmm. you're doing all the right things. In time, you'll begin to, like you said, you'll see the window of hope to get through it. But I appreciate the honesty and transparency of going, hey, dude, I'm struggling. I'm trying to get through it. Well, and plus, too, I don't have a very good poker face, so it's pretty obvious when I'm... You're not Lady Gaga? (laughs) No. Anytime I go through anything, everybody knows. Yeah. (laughs) My, 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 my poker face. But kind of like going off what Justin said, there's probably a lot of listeners that if they were honest, they have moments. Oh, sure. You know, uh, they hear certain stories or they, like I listened to one today that you should not listen to, Scott, uh, but it's a podcast called The Daily, put out by the New York Times, and they had a reporter basically spend a day with a doctor in a Brooklyn hospital. Yeah. And they just went through the hospital and were explaining the stress they're under. And, you know, that's tough. And you just got to really just monitor how much of that you put in your head. And, and then, like you said, balance it out with the truth of God's word and the positive people around you and laughter. And Yeah, like, you know, well, you know just for me personally, what I did is I got rid of all the news on my phone. Mm-hmm. I unsubscribe for any emails that I get from the news, anything that I follow on social media that has anything to do news. Because right now I'm just feeling overwhelmed and I'll know I'll get past yeah, sure. it. But that's just something that I personally did. Yeah, and that's wise. You got to know your own limits. That's because you also know you didn't have a pop 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 poke up face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Lordy. Gosh. Hey, trying to bring joy. I like it. We're bringing smiles, God, as mm. Putt Putt likes to say. Yes. We're yeah, just I bringing smiles. Talk to Putt Putt for a He night told yesterday. me. Yeah. He told, he call, I called him last night. He's out there battling it. Yes, yeah, he is. He is. He is in a cleaning company, a restoration mm-hmm. company, and they're sterilizing and spraying and. Yep. He said they may call, the government called him and maybe want to go to Camp Lejeune and decontaminate the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. My, That's one you don't want to get on, by the way. Yeah, Scott, no. you don't want to go. Hey, man, let me volunteer and serve <laughs> on that one. Well, my cousin is in the Army. He's an officer in the military, and all, and he gets new recruits. And he can't do anything because all new recruits that come in have to spend, everybody spends two weeks in the barracks locked down until, and they all have to be tested. That would be a horrible yeah. time so to it's be a in bunch the military. 18 That's to 22 tough. year olds stuck in the barracks and he's just sitting in his office just like well maybe one day i'll get somebody <laughs> yeah, yeah i wouldn't that's tough no doubt yeah and they can't do anything they're literally they like get up and they just kind of stand around well oh, wow to end on a positive note yes if john we could, why wouldn't we regularly when i go into retail establishments they You're, have toilet paper now yes they do Yes. You're looking at me like you hadn't seen any, bro. Well, because we were on Angel Soft, and I'm a Charmin guy. Mm-hmm. So what brand? We're cotton Nail. You know, I think it's Charmin. John. I'm serious. Yeah, I, no, I, John. Little, little Walmart. Walmart. Little Walmart. I was in there Monday. <laughs> I, now, is no, that Sunday. their name for it? No. Little no, Walmart? No, they, no, that's our People name. call it Small Mart. I like Small Mart. Little Walmart. I went to it's, your it's, Walmart it, yesterday. It's Walmart Neighborhood Market. I went to the Walmart neighborhood market <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> did they didn't have any? I did not look for toilet paper. We were looking for Spanish rice. Ah, oh, yeah. Because um, they didn't have it at the big yeah, one. Yeah, you can only buy one package. So, you know, you're limited. The big one. We get the biggest one they have in stock. But I'm pretty sure it was Charmin. Yeah. Yeah, they had every, when I was there, they the, had every. The Bears. Time. Yes. Yeah, Charmin's or Bears? I think it's Charmin. They're the ones having it no pants the on. They're the Bears with no pants. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> There's no bears, bears with pants. Yeah. There's bears without pants. There's bears that wear Do you ties. Mean in general? Well, like Yogi. Or on the package. Yogi Bear. <laughs> oh, you mean like all over the world. Yeah, Yogi Bear has a tie and a hat on. A tie. But no pants. No That's pants. freedom. I agree. It's kind with of freedom. That. All right. I want. A Charmin bear, he's just naked. Might have underwear <laughs> on, but most of the time they're on the floor. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you need to, then you start paper. thinking like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh got just a shirt on. It's true. <laughs> Think about it. Well, we we had this happen just recently. Yeah. We, if you look at most greeting cards, 
Yeah. For if they have an animated character, mm-hmm. they hardly ever have pants That's on. That's freedom. That is freedom. Scott didn't it's... have up pants on when you banged on his door at the trailer. <laughs> right? I did not. No, it's freedom. It's his house. He lives the way he wants to in those four walls. But you're yeah. on a pack of toilet paper. You're not in your house. Yeah, but that's Ooh. saying, look, you want freedom? Don't wear pants. You know what? You know what? You know what? I have <laughs> this to say that? this toilet paper. This that's toilet America. paper America. is so good. You won't need pants. You don't even wow. need pants. Angel soft. Now, if angels are bringing it to you, might yeah, be a good I, thing. I'll, I'll take a picture of the package when I get home and send yeah. it to you because I just bought it yesterday. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, yeah, I concur. The the grocery stores, I think, are finally catching up. Yeah. Or else people have finally stopped hoarding, which hopefully they have. Well, they're yeah. stopping them from hoarding because you only buy one at a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will say, yeah, because there was a guy that had three, and the manager told him, "Yeah, go back." I applaud that. Back. Yeah, yeah. But That's unless right. you're buying it for a grandmother, oh, you might as well yeah. come in and come out. Well, we send yeah. multiple people in. Yeah. We beat that system. <laughs> See your order. <laughs> no, I'm saying for other family members. Oh, yeah. Because you know the old people don't need to be going in the stores. Right? No, yeah. they don't. No. And and this and we'll end right, on this. Hold on, probably. let's let's go one more thing. End on, and then I'm gonna end on end on. I was just go gonna ahead. say I got discouraged the other day because they were talking about phasing people back into work. Okay, you know that 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 you all. You said this was positive. It's I didn't say this was positive. No, I'm saying you're saying you got on to me because you I said know. this must be. Maybe positive. I shouldn't finish. No, go ahead. Well, they we're said they were gonna phase people in, and they said anybody over fifty, yeah, is not gonna be phased in immediately because they're considered. High risk. That means you, me. I know. I did not like that. <laughs> but I'm 50. I'm right at the marker. You're high risk. No, I'm 50. 50 or over? It was or 50 or over. Oh, I'm at the risk. I was I was like, I don't like that. What I mean, at least hit the AARP 55. Now why am I getting AARP mailings now then? I'm they're trying to get you early. What do you get? Nothing. What's the point of A getting? Free get, coffee. From where? McDonald's. I'm, McDonald's. You can't get a McDonald's free small free coffee. coffee. A small, small coffee. Yeah, it's not. Come on, it's man. not even enough. Well, the Bump thing about it to thing a about medium. <laughs> Come on, McDonald's. Uh, what's a medium? A small ain't even worth fooling. Why'd with. you get high pitched on that? Because I'm Scott. Uh, small. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> say a wink over there. No. All right, so I was gonna end on uh, end yeah. on end on end on. on. So just I'm asking because people are asking, and maybe I've heard, and they're tuning into us to get this information. They are probably not counting on us. When are we going back to work? The theory is yeah, I'm gonna just because I hadn't heard y'all's theory, but oh. I, I heard what the people are thinking. Yeah. But let's talk about that, and then we'll wrap it up. I've, I think I've said this before, kind of like Striper. But that's to hell with. The devil, devil, devil. So Scott, Oof. when you get down, put that on you. Yeah, portable you, you device. Tell Stripe, you tell the devil to go to hell. That's right. That's what you <laughs> tell him. Anyway, anyway, based on China. Remember this discussion? China, because you yeah. picked on the way I said China. China. Mm-hmm. They it's like have chocolate this, in that Sonic commercial. They have this seventy-six day period of time from the beginning of the crisis to when China said that the crisis was essentially well, I don't listen to China for nothing. They're the ones who got us in this mess. But they're was... eating bats and weird stuff <laughs> off the Come table. Come on, man. Hey, I'm just saying. Easy. But, it, that's where they think it came from, don't yes. they? Yes. 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 Or, yeah. A, yeah. I they, think they're they eating think bats. Bat. Yes. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that would put us the first part of June. Yeah, that's what I yeah. was thinking. Yeah, mm-hmm. which which the government right now recommends. Government. Our government, United government. States government. 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 America. <laughs> recommends till May 31st. So all the way. So that would be right at the beginning part yeah. of June. That's what they're going to recommend. Yeah. That's now, what they're recommending. Now, they're, well, I heard they're they're staggering May. Yes. I heard they're staggering May, though. So yeah. I bet restaurants are going to be mid-May. Yeah. Then I was about to say, what we don't know is who gets to go when. Like, they may say, okay, you know, uh, fast food restaurants can open, but not you know, medium size events or concerts. You know what's going to be or, weird is figuring that out. That's going to be rough. It's because it's like, where do you before. think churches fit in that? Where do you think they're going to go? All right, there it is. This is the this is the number. Yeah, I bet they're going to pick a thousand. They're going to say no more than a thousand. I think it'll be less than that. Well, maybe they'll phase it. Maybe it's 500 at first. I mean, it all depends on if it spikes again. They've they've also said if it spikes back up, they're going to draw it back in. Yeah, you have to, though, because it's yeah. going to continue to go yeah. on. So, yeah. 
It's just interesting. I mean, I don't think any of us know. It's just another. No, I, I think I think personally though that at least Louisiana will be in shelter in place till the end of May. Personally, yeah, I think I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. But I think I still think that they could possibly open up small the business parameter because I think the pressure is going to get them. Yeah. And I don't know who's going to be included in that. Like if it's restaurants or what. But you you start thinking about it, it's like. Megan, I was asking her tamale. She said, we're doing all right. I mean, but it's not, I mean. Well, we went to Shane's last night. You are a Shane's. Love it. Fine. What do and, you get there? Well, I get a variety of things. Last night, I went with the third pound burger on the jalapeno bread. Man, that's Excellent just a heart choice. attack in a month. Yeah. yeah. I hate to I hate to wrap this up. I got a doctor's appointment <laughs> via we, telehealth to We, we want to make yeah. sure you get to that. Anxiety. We are. We got five minutes. <laughs> but all I was going to say was that what they're doing now is they meet you at the curb. So you call it in or do an online order, and they walk it out to you. And they were saying that people are figuring that out, and they are getting more and more business because people are just weary of just cooking whatever they have. Right. So anyway, hopefully they're figuring Support it out. Support your local business. Yeah. Support call local. Shane's. Call yes. Bojack's. Call Tamales. Yes. Do a pickup. We Go do a Sonic. Sonic. We, have, Sonic a, we have a weekend date every weekend at Sonic. Hey, I downloaded the Sonic app, by the way, and we're wrapping it up. That's it. Half price drinks all day. Shaching! Mm. It's happy hour all day long. Yeah, and then you get to put in there uh, your stall number. I don't know how that works. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. Yeah, my favorite mm. stall number. Seventeen. Seventeen. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scott, give it out. We're praying for all you. Right. Say a little That's prayer right. for Scott. We got you, Scott. And next week oh, we'll have an I'll update. Update from yeah, his doctor's update. appointment. That's it, baby. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God, he can't even do a high five. Well, no, because what I was thinking is, is if he gives me some medication, I may come in like, hey, guys. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll report it. We'll Live. report it. Yeah, man. That's shit. all right. It's all good, buddy. Some Scott's better than no Scott. That's Scotty it. Poo, we love you. All right. Here we go. Peace. If he can, <laughs> he can't oh, may, get maybe no not. Maybe oh not. my god! Well, here's here's the issue. Oh, yeah, there, so I'm, I'm fading it out because the COVID thing goes a little too long. The COVID, you're not hitting so, COVID. I know, but so I had the volume turned all the way down. So let's <laughs> let's let's try That's this. A fitting end. One this, more yes, time. That's it. Go ahead, Scott. There it is. Oh yeah.